you got to use those improvements. Well, now that we've got the seat in here, I um, I went online and I had to order these. This is a uh, quarter inch bulkhead adapter, female and male. It's got this uh, three eighths on the inside. I believe, actually it's a quarter inch OD and a quarter inch MIP, which I don't know what that means. I had to get these from Menards because this, you know, little quarter inch is too big or is too small for that. So it's not gonna fit in there. You know what I mean? So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stick this down in the hole. I got the hole right here where the airlines were and I just had this connecting it so I could pump the seat up if I needed to. But I'm gonna stick this down here like this. Then I'm gonna have to go under and look and see. Oh man, I barely have any sticking out. So <clears throat> Maybe I'll see what it looks like from this way. If I take this and I stick it up in. So that's right there is basically as much as, you know, that is going to be up. So I pretty much don't even need this thing right here because I can just crank it like that with my hand. I just brought tools and stuff, but I don't believe I need them because I think that's probably tight enough. that thing ain't moving so I'd say that's probably good you know what I mean my arms completely in the way there yeah, this is still going so I'll just give it a sucking that floor down I don't want it to I'll just leave it right there like that so then we've got these right here that are just going to screw down in like so you know maybe cut it probably could have used some thread tape or something but i don't know usually this stuff's okay i'm not really too oh is that pulling that out is that moving that whole thing my god it is so I guess I need to uh, crank on this some more. Oh, wrong way. Is that just loosen that up some, but you now it's tightening it up. And I, like I said, I don't want it too tight. So I don't necessarily need that thing if I don't want it on there. I'll just stick it up there like that. Uh, you know, I'll probably end up putting a T. I wouldn't mind putting a T fitting right here and running um running a sprayer like i did i got in the green chalk you know i can probably loop that around let's see if i can loop that shit around and if for some odd reason when i do finally start this and i start running it or whatever happens with this chalk if this leaks i will take it off and put some uh put some stuff under there real quick you know I'm just gonna take it and I'll try and loop this so it's not, uh, you know, up in the way. It'll work. Now, just get the other side out. Yeah, and you can get, I got these, like I said, from Menard. So that's uh, nice that I was able to pick these up. Ooh, ooh. And I took that fitting in this fitting right here in with me. I had to order those online. I got them through Amazon. And then I took them into the store with me and I test fitted this stuff pretty much. And um, it was good. So let's go down here real quick. I'll see if I can set you on the tire maybe.
all this stuff before had those little T's on them. So maybe I could, I looked for those and I couldn't find the ones, you know what I'm saying? that stuck out. It was just these ones that went straight down. And I, I don't think this is going to be a problem to be honest with you. So really not too concerned about it. But you know, if we do have any issues, I'll just go, I just go get something else. I know it works, so. And, uh, there, that's tight, so that should be good. And it's like, it's not pulling that line tight or anything, so it should be all right, you know. But that's that. Now, um, let's go in the garage here in a minute. And I'll, uh, I'll go show you something, check something out so we can start on our next project for this truck because I know some of you guys have been waiting for this project to happen. So we are finally on the cusp of making this project happen. So let's gather this stuff up real quick and uh, let's head on into the garage here. Hey, check out what came in the mail. It's a box and it came from a uh, priority mail three day James Pretty shipped to Chad Keegan. That's what I'm talking about. So while I was down in Georgia, okay, the last time visiting, hanging out, doing the stuff, you know, with the trucks and whatnot, uh, he took me out to the spot where he likes to get uh, all those trucks, you know, and he showed me around and I was checking out some things and I seen something and I was like, hey, I need that but I wasn't there for me during that trip I was um there helping him work on stuff so I didn't snatch the opportunity to pick this thing up but I said when I got back to the house I said hey next time you're out there he was like hey I gotta go out there I'm gonna do this white will it start blah 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 I said hey can you do me a favor see if you can get uh see how if you know if you can get this for me off this truck that we seen and talked about He's like, yeah, I'm sure he'll just give it to you, blah, blah. I'm like, cool, let me know, you know, what I owe you, this and that. He's like, don't worry about it. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So, oh, man. He said Jessica packing this up and all. She did a pretty good job because it didn't um, go nowhere. It didn't go anywhere. It's a box on top of a box. All right, there we go, folks. There we go, folks. In a garbage bag. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Dirty one. Let's see what we got in here. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? So I'm talking about, you know what this is? This is the power steering reservoir and it's even got these already on here, the brackets. So I don't have to worry about that. And it's got the hose connectors, which is even better. So where I take the hoses off the other one, I can just slap them in here if I need to, which is amazing. So I'll have to um, get this thing cleaned up some. And it looks like it's got some yellow or kind of green paint on it but that's what's up yeah this was on a chassis basically a rolling chassis because a k100 had flipped over and they basically had nothing but the chassis left and this was still hooked up to it sitting on there so i i, I looked at it and i talked to the guy and james and i said hey you know i need one of these blah 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 he's like yeah we probably got about 15 or a dozen around here so i'm like cool whatever you know i'll get one next time i come back and then i got back and i was like man really need that now so i could get that project going on with the air ride so we've got this is fantastic let's take it outside real quick and we'll mock it up and see if it'll go in that spot where um we want it to on that um air cleaner bracket which is this is just great because everything's already here so pretty much all I I'll, all I would really need to do is just run some hoses and uh, that would be awesome so let's stick you right in here like we had you before you know uh, slide this over here like this and we'll, I'll just try and slip this back in here and uh yeah that'll sit there probably perfectly I'll just need to make sure that I can get in to uh, grease that. Oh, 
that uh, spring right there. That'd be the about the only thing where this would be in the way. But other than that, I think it's at a pretty good place, so it should be fine. So that's uh, that's what's going on. I'm gonna probably take this thing and clean it up. Clean her up some. Some of this grime and grit off, you know what I'm saying? Some of this crap. And then uh, we can we can fab this up. I gotta have to drain that one right there. It looks like it's a little bit smaller, but it's the same fittings and everything like that. So it's really not that big of a deal. So we'll drain that one, get her down. We'll clean this one up first. Me, I'll take a day or two to do that. So I'm not really worried about it. I can honestly run that truck with uh without the air ride if I wanted to for as long as I needed to before I install this. It's not like it's anything that I need to rush on, you know. I can handle that spring ride for a few more times. So now big shouts to James Pretty for grabbing that for me and sending it to me and Jessica, wrapping it up, making sure it was safe and sound and secure when we got it. So we're gonna look out for that coming at ya. Oh my God, did it again. What is going on today? Oh my God, look at that shit, man. Oh my God, I'm about to get my truck motherfucking trashed or something today. Woo! Oh, I don't wanna have to roll through no freaking fresh tar. Cause I gotta go back to Papa's fucking doing this road here which sucks they had this road closed down and um i believe they realized that uh they couldn't shut the ramps down and stuff because two major trucking companies um run up and down through here so looks like they're paving the road though Right now. 
like old times.
Um, by hand with uh, everything that was around here except for those two by fours which I uh, purchased and that uh, skylight which I need to get a new one because damn squirrels done chew the hole in my shit man right there and then it's cracked too I think maybe something fell on it but yeah these were widow makers when I first moved out here these so I just cut them down and I, I dug hole and I put them down in there and you know, yes, this is functional. When people come over, I uh, have them use this. And we got some squirrels and some kind of garbage living down there, but it's um, so what it is, you know. Oh, fall is here in Northwest Ohio. Went from 75 degrees, 78 degrees the last few days, maybe four days we had that Indian summer, which I called the summer solstice, you know, cause I'm that kind of guy. And then uh, now I'll look at her. We're uh, down for the count. I think it's supposed to be like high of 50 today, if that, 47-ish maybe, and rain and then stop raining and then, you know, just be ucky and whatever. But, man, that's what's going on. Oh, now I'm just out in the garage here poking around, eh? I need to get some stuff moved around because that air ride is back there and I'm going to... Um, Need to get to it here shortly. And a bunch of this crap I don't need sitting out anymore. So I need to take and move some of this stuff and get it out the way. And I kind of just clear some space. That way when I need to get to that, I can get to that. I'll shove that uh, other new radiator back, which that may go down south to uh, James Pretty. He said he needed a radiator, one, of, one for Marlo. Mock it up and make sure it's right. Well, we can get it. If not, we got a backup one for Frank if anything ever happens, you know. I'll get these pool chemicals and shit out the way and um, try to minimize some space here. Get some stuff that I need to, um, you know, factory turbo for Dodge Dart I no longer own. Some shit taken care of. Got a couple spare tires there if I ever have a blowout or something like that. That was that steer tire. And then there's one that was in the back that uh, I ended up plugging up because where it was at when I took it to the shop, they said, uh, well, we can't fix it. We're just, we have to put a new tire on. I'm thinking to myself, BS, motherfucker, plug that shit and let's do it. But you know how it is when uh, you take your shit somewhere and somebody else is working on it and they're just trying to get the buck from you. 
so it's what it is but uh yeah i gotta get some things moved around i need to i'm waiting on i'm waiting on a filter for uh this guy right here let's get you down in there he's hanging out in the garbage can he's like oscar to grouch this um i cleaned this up the other day like i said i was going to and there's an actual filter inside this canister uh, I took the top off, checked everything out, wanted to make sure there wasn't a bunch of shit, you know, inside of here. And I seen that filter and I thought, man, this is probably from the 80s somewhere. So I figured I should probably order a new filter for that before I slam that thing on the blue chalk and do that air ride. So I did and I'm waiting for it to come. Um, it may come tomorrow. I don't know, but then I'm going to be taking off and doing some stuff so i'm gonna be gone for a few and then uh you know i'll probably do it when i come back and when i do get back i'm probably gonna start running that blue truck because i need to do some things to frank and um i need to shut that truck down basically so i can actually do some shit and work on it um and not like you know kind of just work on it for a couple hours, then get in and run it. I need to like stop. It needs to sit for at least a week. I need to figure some things out and I'll uh, get some things taken care of, unfortunately. So, but he's at least running October out in Halloween. You know what I mean? He's going to do his thing. And then uh, after that, he's going down, down for a while. Not a while, hopefully maybe a couple weeks. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I just like I said, I got to figure some things out, but do what I can, you know, to make the money with uh, what I got. Because regardless of what's going on, if a windshield leaks, water here and there, you know, um, you still make money with it. If the mud flaps broke, you know, um, you can get by and you can still make money with it. So it's uh, one of them situations where we're going to make money with our junk because we can. So that's what's going on today. And uh, once I get that finally that canister you know what i'm saying we can start moving on with that but like i said i i don't know what all will happen i'm going to take off friday i'm not sure how nice it'll be hopefully it'll be somewhat decent to where um i i, I would really like to be able to do that friday if i can that would be fantastic if i get that on so let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for friday so until then you know what we say Stay tuned. Oh man, what we got going on, folks? Here, it's trick or treat at this freaking truck stop, and uh, there's kids all over the place. All the staff handing out candy and shit. I'm just trying to get in here and get out to get some fuel. Grateful that they're giving out fidget spinners and everything. It's ready. All the staff is dressed up and shit too. It's kind of cool. This chick up here at the counter is crazy. I'll zoom you in real quick. I just stopped in for fuel. It's crazy to look at. Look at me. Scary shit. Now oh, look at that boy. Look at that damn boy. Trick or treat. Give me some candy. Man, I should bust that Frankenstein mask out and put it on. But uh, I got to go. I told the chick up in there I got Frankenstein mask or truck called Frankenstein. Just stopped in for fuel. It's 502. Cheap. It's 580. Uh, 585 on the thing and it's 502 um, with a discount. So I figured I needed fuel anyways. I might as well stop here and grab some shit. You know what I mean? Keep going in damn headlights. Here we go, baby. Oh, damn, the heat is on. Heat is on, on the street, in a truck, the Frankenstein man, hoo hoo, we got to go, I got uh, 90 gallons for 532 bucks, I don't know if it gave me the discount or not, but um, it's not too bad. Should I put like seven on it? I think if it's like, if I fill, I only have been filling up the driver's side tank the last two times. I filled up on, uh, what day is it? Yesterday, I put about 80 gallon in and I ran it out already because I went um, two Clydes, Napoleon, two Clydes, and, um, and I did two Napoleons right here. So that's what's up. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I always like to, um, 
come in here and uh, see their shit because they always have a killer display for stuff and they got a killer Halloween stuff there's just a bunch of shit going on in there so I didn't want to uh, do too much plus I gotta go so I'm on the clock tick tock I'm on the clock I guess I could have hung up for a little bit but I didn't yo I just um I'm listening to Sirius Fly right now and there's this DJ K Young that uh, comes on I think on uh Wednesday nights she she comes in and spins for a couple hours and I always like her program because I like to fly channels but apparently sometimes they they play stuff that I don't want to hear you know what I mean but uh, she does good when she spins and I'm, I'm hooked on it right now and she just said hey take a picture of your radio and send it in and tag me on Instagram blah blah so I just tagged her real quick and then uh, she put me on her story saying safe travel so maybe I'll pick up some business from that that'll be cool some uh, subscribers on uh, the YouTube channel. Truck Edition Spectacular. Yay, yay! All right, we got to go. You're probably going to be shaking around, so I'll probably just uh, cut you out here in a second. You know what I mean? Kick them spare lights on the shit. Look at them chicken trees, man. Look at them little kids, man. Try and get a damn candy, man.